OK, I can confirm that we are now live. Thank you. Thank you, Liam. Good morning, members, officers and members of the public who are viewing the live stream of this meeting. Welcome to the meeting of the Grants Advisory Committee today, Friday 20th of November. Just a quick apology for starting late. I think we had a bit of a technical issue up front, so we're here, we're here now. My name is Councillor Joseph Hales. I'm the chair of the Grants Advisory Committee. For the information of members of the public, our role as a committee is to consider and make recommendations. The lead cabinet member for finance, that's the gentleman with the beard, Councillor John Williams, on applications made under the council's grant schemes. Councillor Williams then make, makes his decision taking the account of our recommendations. Members, please can you remember to mute your microphones unless you're called to speak when you'll need to unmute them, otherwise we all look daft as normal. Aaron, I'll come over to you, please, for agenda item number one, which is apologies. Thank you, Chair. Uh, we've had apologies from Councillor Claire Delderfield, and uh, although not necessarily uh, a standing member of the committee, Councillor Bill Handley. Thank you very much. So the rest of us are here. Uh, declarations of interest, members. Aaron, would you do the, the honours, please? Uh, sorry, we, we've moved on to declarations of, of interest, have we? Yeah. Um, uh, do any members uh, have any declarations in relation to any item of business on this agenda to declare? No. Well, I'm wondering, I'm just going to take advice, probably for, for Sue and myself, if you don't mind. So we're both members of Mobile Warden Schemes as trustees. So whilst this is finance and we're potentially not necessarily the recipient of this money, but there's the potential per perhaps in the future. So whilst it's non pecuniary I would say, wouldn't you, Sue? Yes, indeed. Would you make a note of that for us, please, Aaron? Of course, thank you, Chair. Thank you. Uh, agenda item number three, members. Um, I'll just see you go through the usual. This is on page five of your agenda. No, beg your pardon, page three of your agenda, page one of your agenda, get it right, Joe. I'll just go through the usual, page one, page two, <coughs> excuse me, and page three. All square? Agreed. Thank you very much indeed. If you could just make a, a note of that, that was unanimous, please. Thank you. Okie doke. Uh, agenda item number four, that's what confused me. <laughs> my notes have gone awry. <laughs> right, agenda item number four, which is the expansion of the mobile warden scheme uh, underspend. Uh, for this item, I'd like to call upon the officer leading it, which is uh, Leslie McF McFarlane. Leslie, would you be able to, to brief us, please, and introduce the subject? OK, yes, thank you, Chair. Um, following the mobile warden scheme procurement exercise earlier this year, um, we've been left with a, a total underspend of £115,766. Um, given that there's no significant uplift in grant funding for the existing schemes, or there hasn't been for many years, and given that we're in the midst of a global pandemic, um, requiring older members of society to sort of stay home, and self-isolate, there is an argument to give greater support to these existing schemes um, and to expand them if they so wish. Um, we also need to consider how we continue to financially support those new schemes that we procured this year from September 2022 to March 2024 to bring their funding in line with the current funding cycle. Um, so currently there's no allocation of funds um, to support them during this period at the moment. Um, the options um, are there before you, um, but really just to take that, I think that there are two options as, as far as I see. Um, taking that total amount, dividing it by three. Um, but remember, we've already got an existing budget of 27K per year um, allocated, so we could add that, we, we would add that. That gives quite a substantial uplift to existing schemes um, beginning April 2021 or um, we top slice it and we give a portion of that or we set aside a portion of that for these newly procured schemes to apply to from October 2022. 
um, and use the remaining funds then for the existing on new schemes. And that still gives them a lot to apply into. Um, so um, really, it's it's over to you. OK, members. Comments, please. We basically have two options. We have option one, option two. As you can see from page six of the agenda, option one is essentially um, use the 115,000 across the three years um, with the, uh, in the addition of the 27, as uh, Leslie's rightly said. Uh, option two is the top slice where we protect both, I think, which is about the, the sum of it. We protect the existing schemes and we also help with the top up of the slight shortfall of the new schemes, as, as already mentioned. So I am very much in favour of item two or option two, because I feel that uh, there there is so much happening that we can't predict in the future. We want to encourage more mobile schemes and to have a little leeway available to us to support those schemes is really good. Hang on while I answer that and tell it to go away. And I really feel that this, this would give us the opportunity to be able to encourage and support through whatever comes in the future. And we really don't know what's coming in the future. Thank you, so I thoroughly agree. Um, just as a, a quick, before I go to anybody else, um, in, in um, Leslie's paper, section 14, it, it, Leslie lays it out there for us with regards to how the council can provide a f future funding, if you like, and the and the shortfalls uh, and the pitfalls, shall I say, not shortfalls, the pitfalls, as Sue has rightly highlighted, of future finances and what have you from government. So we do have to be a bit careful, I suppose. Anybody else? Peter, Claire? Yes. Yes, please. Uh, Pete, Claire. yeah. Pete, yeah. Well, I do, I do agree with Sue that um, uh, uh, Councillor Ellington that for me, if I look at option two, there are, there are two aspects. One is um, being able to engage with parishes and say that we've made provision for these future years is quite powerful, mm -hmm. uh, provided that John uh, Councillor Williams is happy with that with that approach. I would personally prefer that because it allows us to go to um, expand the program to, to be able to go to parishes and say uh, we've created what we believe is a sustainable uh, fund going forward right through to March 2024. And I think that's a very positive message for the communities, uh, provided um, John Councillor Williams doesn't see any any issues, any financial uh, issues with doing that. I believe it's pretty transparent as Leslie has laid out. So so I, I would agree with Sue that I support option two. Great stuff. Councillor Thornton? Yeah, uh, I, that would be my choice as well. Um, I just wanted to ask a question. Under the 40,000 to part subsidise the 10 new schemes, that sentence there, um, do we have any idea of how we might subsidise the new schemes? Do we feel that the new schemes are not sufficiently funded at the moment or do we think the new schemes need reassurance or they might need more money in the future? Just talk me through that sentence. Um, I think um, we don't uh, the current model is that they apply for funding from various different sources and each scheme has a different uh, pool of funding to, to draw from. Um, but given the economic outlook, again, nothing is certain. So I, I think that there, there isn't enough at the moment to, to sustain them. Um, so I think that this additional money would give security um, to those new schemes. So one of the barriers to uptake from the new schemes, or one not, not barriers, but one of the concerns when we've been talking to uh, parishes about taking on these schemes was the ongoing funding. 
Um, so I think if we can go back to them and say, actually, we have considered how we're going to fund, how we will support you, you know, going forwards, I think we'll give them that reassurance that they need at the moment. OK, that's helpful. Um, and also another um, question concerning additional schemes where um, and when we're reporting on the mobile warden schemes in our parish council reports where a village to come forward saying I would like now to join in is there sufficient funding for an 11th new scheme yes there is so, so there's, there, I, this 115,000 pounds um which when it's divided up over the sort of three years, even if you take the £40,000 and top slice that off, if a scheme came forwards now, um, we would have enough funding to part fund them, not to fully fund them as the within the procurement, um, as we have done with the procured exercises. So these any any uh, parishes coming forward that want funding um, from this new, you know, going forwards from April 2021, um, would be part funded the same as all the uh, the existing schemes. OK, um, Joe, might I have a final question, please? Absolutely. Um, so then what we're saying is that in March 2024, that will be a crunch time because what we're trying to do is to help existing and new schemes to come together so that in 2024 we'd be looking at the the next tranche of funding for all of those schemes. So I think, correct me if I'm wrong, what we're saying is we're now giving you three years funding to 2024 and what happens after that, we just don't know. Yep. Yep. And again, I think that's come sort of 2020, at the end of 2022, uh, when they're in their final year of funding, I think that's when we need to uh, start thinking about the budgeting for from 2020 to 24. OK, thanks. Yeah. All right. Thanks, uh, Chairman. I'm happy with that and very happy to support option two. Thank you very much. Um, I'm in complete agreement with, uh, with with all members and uh, I'd just like to thank Leslie for the additional work that we loaded onto her shoulders to bring this forward again. Um, so thank you there, Leslie. Um, John. Do you have anything to say or, or yeah. are you happy for the recommendation for, for option two from us? No, I'm happy with the recommendation and to, I'd also like to thank Leslie for, for, the, for the work she's put into this. And obviously the work will continue as well because obviously the new groups will need a lot of support. And we might even, this might even encourage some more people to come forward. Um, I'm pleased that we can, you know, uh, underpin the the schemes until 2024 um, and um, clearly that will be in the in a new administration um, so it will be for um, it will be post the uh, election in 2022 so um, it, whoever wins that uh, that I hope they will take it on board and continue to 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 run with it but at least it gives people some certainty now as to um, as going forward for the next four years. Great, thanks. Um, I, th I think well, actually it's, it's, been, it's been going pretty well soon. Uh, Leslie, they, they had a training session, didn't we, um, for some of the new bots uh, for the part of our process. Here, we've, we've asked people to be in line with all the different qualifications, safeguarding, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There was a safeguarding and a, a touch on MCA and Dulles. Was uh, what day was it? Yesterday. Wednesday. Was it yesterday? Wednesday. Wednesday. I remember now. Yeah, it's been a long week. There would um, have been sorry that yeah, and there would have been safeguarding uh, first aid yeah. training next week, but we've had to postpone yeah. that. Yeah. Until the new year. But it, 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 uh, just to let members know that we've the process has started, so it's 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 going pretty well, I think, so far at the moment. So that's great. Okay. So I'm 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 to take it that from what everybody said in their questions that we're looking at option two will be our recommendation to lead for finance. Can I just put your hand up if you agree, please? Thank you very much. That's unanimous, Aaron. That we, that's the recommendation is um, option two. Uh, and John's the exception to that, I think. So that's great. In that case. 
Um, Chairman, could I ask a question, please? Yes. Um, uh, on page six, um, under details, um, Leslie, um, yeah. you put provision of online workshops for new schemes will be offered by way of additional support. Please, could we be um, given warning of those workshops? Again, yeah, we're planning those towards the end of that. So those will be for the newly procured schemes. Yeah. Um, and it will be supporting them in how they apply for funding going forwards. So that will be towards the end of that funding cycle, that initial funding cycle. OK, so, so we'll probably be looking at about April 2022. Um, so if there's any um, in the near future, if there's any information going out about the schemes, could we be copied into it? Because we sometimes get asked questions and OK, we can talk knowledgeably about the grants and, and why we've set it up. But um, any details, it would be helpful. Thanks. Okay. Good point. Right then, I think members, this was a one agenda item only. Aaron, you were going to say, were you going to say something? No, sorry, I, I had oh, so to you put your hand, you went like that. I thought, oh, here we go. <laughs> I've done something wrong. <laughs> right, well, in that case, um, if there's no other business, guys, uh, it's a one agenda item only. Oh, Leslie? Um, I just wanted to add that we're about to release a big po uh, comms piece on the new schemes as well. So towards the end of next week, uh, so th the, the new fund or the existing schemes funding um, opens on the 30th of November. Uh, so that's next Friday. And we're going to tie that in with where we are with the newly procured schemes. So all those newly procured schemes are about to um, fly basically. So from December, um, we will have probably out of these, the, all the newly procured schemes, most of them will be up and running by December with a few delayed until January just because of recruitment uh, difficulties recruiting. But I think it's great news our, um, in our business plan. I think we had um, written three new schemes by the end of the financial year, um, but we've absolutely blown that out of the water and we've got a lot more set up. So I think that's something that we can really um, shout about. Yeah, well done. That's great. Start, Thank you. start yelling then. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so keep an eye out. Keep an eye out yeah. for the comms anyway. That's okay. Thank uh, you. Chairman, could I thank the lead member finance for providing the money for it? Yes. <laughs> well, don't, thank don't, you, thank him, don't thank him too much because we want to bleed him some more a little bit to make sure we got <laughs> enough. So we've got to keep him on. Right. We've got to get some money out of county. Yeah, that'll be a yeah. good one. Yeah, that'll be our next task. We're going to pin them down, shall we? Excellent. OK, gang, thank you very much indeed. Um, for all the members of the public, hope that went well for you. Certainly did for us. Um, next meeting is on the 27th of November, 10 a.m. That will be the zero carbon uh, process uh, and applications as already published. See you then. Thank See you very then. much indeed. Liam, right. could you, you do the feed for me? Thanks, Aaron. Yeah. Thanks, Leslie.